Good morning, everybody. My name's Michael J. Long, and um, thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Today is um, today is uh, the tenth of January, twenty ten, and um, <clears throat> I want to give you my opinion on what I think is should be a big issue in this country apart from illegal immigration and all the other issues and that is uh, prostitution I'm against prostitution I think that it should be outlawed and I think that it should be e illegal meaning that it should be against the law okay it's immoral it, it's uh, towards any form of religion whether it be the Judeo Roman Catholics or the Christianity, whatever it is, whatever religion it is that you're practicing, it's an immoral behavior, um, and it's also it also could be a health hazard because you know you have one guy he hits the club, pays this girl off or this woman, which in a sense is what a prostitute is, someone that pays for sex, right? Then he goes out, makes love with this woman and that woman and that woman, and she makes love with that guy and the other guy and the guy down the street. And then after a while, it can cause serious biological, uh, you know, illnesses such as AIDS, HIV, etc. And then if they take a dump or they pee, it could contaminate the water if they flush the toilet or anything like that. And then if you drink it, you could get infected. So it could have serious health ramifications and um, and serious medical implications. Apart from that. Um, you know, it, it teaches lawlessness and morallessness in the sense that if you, if you know, it, it, go, it, it goes outside traditional conservative and religious values in terms of, you know, you know, it's not moral. Marriage is supposed to be between a man and a woman. Uh, and it should be, you should never have sex outside of matrimony. Um, but if you're going to have sex outside of matrimony, it shouldn't be between multiple women because then you're not being loyal to whoever it is that you love. Um, but but I want to make a point on this. I, I mean, I'm against prostitution, and I agree with the people that say it should be against the law. There's no doubt about that. But there's a question on whether it should be a federal issue or the state's issue. And I'm skeptical on that issue, and I think the people should make that decision, but on their own, in terms of whether it should be a state's right issue or a federal issue. You know, I think personally, you know, I don't know if it should be a federal issue. I think it should be, but the Constitution doesn't give the federal government any authority to deal with that issue. And if the federal government needs any authority to deal with that issue, then they should amend the Constitution. But it seems to me... The uh, the prostitution laws, the anti-prostitution laws the federal government may have passed, they seem to only be enforced by the local police anyways. I mean, I've never seen, you know, local police, I've never seen anybody on the state level, on the county level, or even on the federal level. I've never seen freaking federal police agencies go after, you know, prostitution. I've never seen them do that. And and um, it seems to be seems to me that it's the least worried about issue. People don't seem to worry about it as long as the federal government has authority to deal with that issue. But their argument on that is, if if for some reason the federal government decides they don't want to deal with that issue anymore, and they leave it up to the states, the states may turn around and say, you know what, we want it to be legalized. And therefore, the state will turn around and legalize it, right? But here's my argument to that. If it's nonsensical for the federal government to, to ensure that prostitution is legalized, then it is nonsensical for the states to do the same thing, which is to make sure that, it's, that prostitution is legalized. And if it's sensical for the states to legalize prostitution, then it is sensical for the federal government to do it. The reason being is that if the majority of states, you know, you know, legalize prostitution, that means the majority of people in those states voted those people in the state legislators and whoever it is that is the governor to legalize it. And that means if that's the case, 
if there's a if there's if there's a lot of states that favor that kind of activity, then that means that there's a lot of people that can easily be put on the federal level federal level in Congress that can do the same thing. So what we have to look at here is whether it should be a federal issue or a state's right issue. And if and if it should be a federal issue in terms of whether or not it should be legalized or made against the law. And if it's going to be a state's right issue, to that the same assumptions be made in terms of whether or not it should be illegal or against the law. And if it's going to be legalized, then there are going to be serious health ramifications that are going to take place. And if you come up with a cure to deal with those freaking ramifications, all the power to you. But I think that it should be illegal, it should be against the law, because it's immoral. Now, many people will disagree with me on that, and that's their prerogative. The truth is mar- that, that prostitution's against the law, illegal, and it's immoral. And it goes against the wording of God. And if you go into that lifestyle of prostitution, then, then that's basically going to be your own undoing. And that can cause serious health ramification and is a culture of Satanism, devilish just behavior, and um, it, it's just immoral. And it goes against the truth. It goes against God. It, it, it'll lead to you going to hell if you deserve, if you want to live that lifestyle. And, and that's if you look at it from a religious standpoint. But, and, and, and I'm telling you, the truth is, is that it's immoral and should not be permitted on any level of government. Should not be permitted at all. But there are problems in terms of, but there are ramifications that can take place if the states decide to legalize it and the federal government decides to make it against the law. If the states decide to legalize it, for example, and the local police and the state police decide not to do anything about it or decide to participate in such action. The federal government may decide to crack down to the prostitution on the state level. And the police or the local police may turn around and start, you know, arresting and killing those agents involved in those crackdowns on the federal level. And it may get out of hand. And it may not be. The circumstances tend to vary. Um, and if the states decide to legalize it and the federal government decides to make it illegal, you know, that's probably what's going to happen. But if the federal government decides to make sure that it's legalized and then the majority of states say you know we don't want it legalized i mean what's going to happen is the majority of states are going to say hey you know we're going to make sure that prostitution's against the law and then you know the state then then a lot of the prostitutes might go to the federal government and say hey they're infringing upon our civil liberties and they may just very well file a lawsuit so i think this is this is a, a topic that the people this is something a decision that the people should make on their own in terms of whether it should be a state's right issue or a federal issue and in terms of whether it should be legalized or against the law. And I think that personally, regardless of whether you think it should be a state's right issue or a federal issue, that you should push to ensure on any level of government that prostitution remains against the law. I'm Michael Long. And uh, thank you for joining me. I appreciate it.